Okay, now I'm going to talk about section 4.3, uh, modeling linear chains. Um, in this session, we're going to use technology to write the regression equation. Okay, so uh, as I mentioned in 4.2, uh, which is some uh, equation, um, uh, the, 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 the line, uh, the equation of the, uh, of the best fit line that uh, can be uh, present for the, all the data in the scatter plot. And then uh, and we're going to use a regression equation uh, to make appropriate prediction. Okay, so, um, uh, so we can predict in the future what happened uh, for uh, uh, for the data could be by, by using uh, the regression equation okay so let's move all right so this is a similar way um, with the mathematics uh, for linear equation uh, you, you learn about y equal to mx plus b um, but in here um, uh, in here, we we are learning about statistics, and and the statistics wants to have like different label. So in here, uh, the B here is actually a slope, right? And the A here gonna be the the y-intercept. <clears throat> okay, so um, so we uh, uh for the regression line. We have, uh, it is a tool for making prediction about future observer uh, values. Um, have the form that y equals to a plus bx, which is, a, uh, which is the, the one that I have talked in uh, section 4.2, okay? Um, and in here, a is, is a wide intercept and b is slope, and I, and I just mentioned you. Usually uh, generated using appropriate technology. Okay, so let's move. I may gonna use the slideshow better for you to see. Uh, all right, right here. Okay, so example one, regress, regression uh, equation. The scatter plot shows a fairly um, strong positive linear chain. So you can see in here, right? Is uh, we have like a, a, a the the data is close to each other and it's is uh, it's going up and and go exactly like a, a, a line and it's going positive chain. So the regression equation has a slope of two point sixteen. Um, this one. Uh, in order to find the, the slope, uh, usually we, we will have like a, um, a slope in, in, in this stat is uh, A. <clears throat> uh, usually we will also gonna have like a formula, but, um, but since uh, in my class, you just gonna use, ca uh, you, uh, you can use calculator or you can use a uh, scatter plot to, uh, sorry, uh, you can use uh, stats crunch to, calculate all this stuff. So, uh, <clears throat> uh, and also y in the self uh, going to be 30.46, right? So, um, so the positive chain indicate that the player who hit more home run tend to have more RBI. Yes. I'm not really well at the uh, baseball, so I'm not sure what is that. But uh, anyway, I can, uh, I can write this uh, the equation of this linear uh, line here uh, could be y equal to uh, intercept going to be 30.46 plus with the 2.16 and then time with x. Uh, so remember that it is b plus ax. All right. Okay. So let's uh, I'm gonna rewrite y at equal to b plus ax. Okay. Let's move. Okay. So this is uh, uh, the negative linear chain. Uh, example number two. Talk about 
the age and the value. I think this should be uh, talk about like uh, uh, the, the age of the car. Uh, I have a uh, relationship between the age of the car and the value. Okay, so the scatter plot show negative, negative linear chain, right? It's negative, it's going down, right? As age of a car, right, increase, okay? So uh, the value tend to decrease, all right? The regression equation is, uh, okay, so they given you the y, uh, y itself in here uh, with B. Is that B? Yeah, I, I'm gonna use it to make sure. Uh, B is slope, okay. Uh, I always mess up with that. So let's change this. A here, B here. I usually uh, use uh, the formula from, uh, uh, from mathematics more than this, but uh, because this is like a um, start and they want to have different label. But yeah, anyway, this should have the same meaning as slope and if y and set. So uh, this is A and B is the negative of 1215. Okay. So 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 the, the uh, I can I can write this equation as uh, y equal two one three seventy five oops seventy five minus one two one five uh, x and that should be the uh, re regression uh, equation okay so now. In order to find the regression equation, you're gonna using technology, all right? Uh, you're gonna follow the same step as the as for follow, finding the correlation coefficient. So uh, same things as um, uh, in section 4.2. Um, so we're gonna try to find the regression equation for example three. We is uh, talking about the uh, the the. the, the uh, uh, regression um, equation of the heights and the wage data. So, um, so let me remind you the way it's here, right? So let's using uh, start squad to do that. Okay, so let me move that so start squad. Where is start squad? Right here. <coughs> A little bit slow. Hmm. Okay. All right, you're gonna get in the class and then go to the start ground here. Click on the start ground side. And then you're gonna, oh, they want you to say it. Okay, say it. And then say it. Too many step, right? Okay. And then open the start crunch. Now you're gonna put all the data from uh, the problem, 61, 62, 63, 61, 62, 63, what else, 64, 66, 68, okay, and then 104, 104, 110, one for one, one twenty four, one twenty five, and then one seventy, one sixty. Okay, so after this, oh, I say gonna here gonna be uh, the hat or axe. 
and here is wage uh, variable y. Okay, so that after that you'll click on the start and then regression and then simple linear and then you choose x is the height y for the weight and then you're just going to compute it and you see that uh, the the regression line is going to be this guy okay so um so you should have i'm going to copy this down yeah, i mean actually yeah So it should appear something like this, All right? So this is a, a regression line that you are we are looking for, okay? And let's see what happened for the next page. Okay, so. Okay. So as you can see that uh, we have exactly uh, the equation over here, right? And the sample size is six. The R, the correlation coefficient we, we learned from last time is um, 0 0.81. Okay, so um, today we we actually focus on the regression line, okay? So now, let me clear this, and then we're gonna move to the next page. All right, uh, okay. Now, this is example four. Um, uh, we're going to use uh, the regression equation. Okay, so this is, this is the, the, uh, the equation that's uh, from the from example three. Um, we have this uh, regression equation, uh, but then what we're going to do is we're going to predict the wage of the woman who is 65 inches tall. So um so we want to know what is the wage if the height is 65 right so what you do is you you change the height here to be 65 and then you're going to have the wage going to be equal to negative 441 uh, 4, 2 point, uh, 2 plus 9.03 times 65 so do this uh first by PEMDAS and then uh, adding with the negative number uh, four four two point eighty uh, eight hundred eighty two, and you're gonna get one four one hundred forty four point zero seven. So 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 uh, it's mean what it's mean that um, we can predict that a woman if uh, she is um, sixty five inch tall, yeah, she may gonna have the weight of one four hundred one hundred forty four. Uh, oh no, this should not be inch, it should be, I think it should be pounds, right? Yeah, let me uh, check with the uh, previous. So it doesn't have um, units for that, but I gotta say pounds, right? 134 pounds, right? So, all right. Okay, so now let's move to the next page. Okay. So these notes about the regression equation, uh, you should know that the order is matter. Uh, if X and Y are switch, okay, uh, the regression equation will change. Um, so uh, note that, <coughs> note that um, uh, in uh, in the um, in 4.2, <coughs> if uh, 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 the x and y, uh, uh, if 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 x and y are 
uh, switch um, the correlation the coefficient uh, corre um, correlation coefficient r uh, is not changed uh, do not change do not change right so um, so but but for the regression equation is will switch if you switch the order of x and y okay so now let's we so we have we use the x variable to make prediction about y variable <coughs> so the x variable is called <coughs> excuse me explanatory or predictor variable it's also it is also called the independent variable most mostly we will call x as a independent variable because uh, this uh, the x uh, uh, i mean uh, the y the on the what variable y is on on is a uh, is a variable that depend on x so um so 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 x in here has to be independent variables uh, let's move to the next one. The y variable is response uh, or predicted variable. It is also called dependent variable. Okay, so it depends on x. So that is the reason why it's called dependent variable. All right. Come back with uh, um, this example uh, about height and wage. Now um, we uh, we will uh, use weights as a predictor or uh, explanatory variable x. So what does that mean? We're going to use d is x and d is y. And let's see what happens, right? Okay. So uh, I will come back with the uh, uh, start one. All right. And I will change. I will change this to be y and this to be x. So now what happened? Okay, I will do start and go to the regression here. Do simple linear. And then x variable, I'm going to choose weight. And y variable, I'm going to choose height. So then compute. This will show you. Um, it will show you a new, uh, a, a new linear regression, um, which is this guy. Actually, I will copy this. Right. But the but the correlation coefficient is the same as before, right? So you can see that. So let's we come back with the PowerPoint. All right. So yeah. So the result uh, is gonna be you know, this. All right. So exactly what we have over here. All right, so, um, so we can make a conclusion that the, uh, when you switch X and Y, uh, you switch uh, dependent variable and independent variable, you will have different um, linear regression. Okay, so let's... Okay, so interpreting the slope of the regression equation, uh, slope will tell us how much the y variable change when x variable is increased by one unit, right? So, so this is exactly the uh, same thing as the, um, as the mathematics. And a slope close to zero means there is no linear uh, the relationship between x and y. Um, yeah. If slope 
a slope close to zero means there's no linear relationship between x and y. So in, in that case, uh, uh, the, the, the more close, so I'm gonna say if it becomes zero, right? Uh, then then uh, y gonna be equal to a constant number, say, uh, say a, right? And then uh, uh, there's there are no more x anymore. So then we can say like uh, uh, y have no relationship between y and x. So. Okay. All right. So now let's do example six. Uh, interpreting the slope. In here we have the the equation, uh, uh, the regression equation uh, between weight and high is negative four four two point eight eight two plus nine point oh three height. Uh, the slope of this line is um, is a nine point oh three, and the y variable is weight, and x variable is height. So uh, we're gonna interpretation is uh, for every additional inch in height, right? Weight tends to increase by nine point zero three pounds. So what does it mean? Uh, so let's say um, if the height. Uh, Say it's the height from uh, I don't know uh, I don't know uh, I, I don't know I don't know. Um, uh, let me see I'm gonna say uh, say sixty say uh, sixty two if 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 the height was sixty two um, and you plus with one right. And uh, that's gonna be 63. Then uh, the weight, uh, the weight will be, um, uh, what is the coordinate, uh, co 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 um, corresponding high in 62, you will come back with the, with the um, table. C2 is one on 10, right? So you, so, one on ten is gonna be one one ten and you plus with um uh nine point oh three uh, increasing it is increasing nine point oh three this is like a prediction uh of tens that's the uh, that is the reason why you say tens okay so it will be about like um uh, one 19.03 so let's let's come back with the table and see if uh if this uh, is acceptable so see that so if i adding to 63 i have one for one uh and even though in here you see that the um, the predict from the uh, from the line was one one nine point oh three, uh, but um, I mean it's a little bit odd, but still okay uh, because it's mean it's keep going up. So uh, so now let's uh, let's move back to to that. All right. So um, and every increase of one inch in height is associated with an increase in weight of 903. So, I mean, you can either go by this or this. These two uh, will be the interpretation for the slope in this case. All right, so let's move. All right, so, um, a previous example on association between age of the car and value of car, the regression equation was uh, predicted value equal to 21,375 uh, minus uh, uh, 1,215 H. So we will interpret the slope of the regression equation. So, um, uh, so this, the interpretation will be, uh, let's say, 
um, if um, if the um, the the h uh, slope is here, right? If the h is um, I'm gonna say if the h is increased one unit or uh, one gs um, then the value then the predicted value uh, uh, decrease decrease uh, by 1215 uh, dollar okay so that is a, a way to do interpretation for for this uh, okay, so let's let's see uh, how can we interpret like this, uh, like the PowerPoint say. For each additional uh, EGS of H, value of car tends to decrease. Oh yes, uh, I I forgot to say the word tens. Right, you should make sure that you uh, you say tens. Uh, because this is stat class, so we cannot say uh, it's, it will decrease, but it's actually like 10 to better, right? And um, yeah, and uh, each additional years of age is associated with a decrease of 1215 in value. Okay, so that's to be okay. And now let's move to the next. In, in interpreting the in uh, the y intercept of the regression equation. Okay, so the y intercept is a predict value when x is zero. Okay, so um, yeah, so when you have x equals zero, then y intercept will be the the, uh, the, the a, right? Um, so it's also going to be the predicted, predicted value um, for, for, the, for that case. And the y intercept is meaningful only if it makes the sense for x to equal zero. Okay. Now, example eight, uh, interpreting the y intercept. Um, and in a previous exam on the association between age of the car and value of the car, the regression equation was predict, uh, predicted value equal to 21,375 minus 1,215 H. Okay, the same things. And now we just try to interpret the Y in the set. All right, so, uh, when the sample equal to 2,175, it was here, right? Uh, and is is predicted value when x h is zero. In the other word, uh, when the car is brand new, right? Its value is 21,375. Okay. And um, in the previous example, uh, we talked about the weight and height. This is a uh, this is a regression equation, okay? And um, we want to interpret the event itself if it appropriate, uh, okay? So let's see what happened. Uh, when set in here is negative four four two point eight eight two, so it is the predicted value for weight if it if height is zero, but it is impossible to weigh uh, negative something pounds, right? Um, so, and also it is uh, impossible for a woman to be zero inches tall. So in this case, the weight itself is meaningless, right? 
you, there's no meaning in, 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 for this point itself. Okay? So that is why sometimes it's, uh, it has to be like appropriate you know, for the white itself. Okay. And that's it. I'm going to stop the uh, section 4.3 now, and I'm going to see you in the next session.